Hey family, welcome back to another video with your girl Saint Seraphim. Over here, we do everything with truth and love and that's one spirit. Period. If you're new here, welcome to the sanctuary. If you're not, welcome back, sis stars, saints, bro stars, and shadows. If you're interested in any of my products, services, courses, courses, archives, lectures, Patreon, um, or any of my other socials, click that link down below in the description box and it'll lead you to where it is you're trying to go. And if you would like to support the channel, donate to the channel, you can like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I support the other content on the channel, or you can utilize those donation links that are down below, including the Amazon wish those links. So I decided to show my face today, miss you guys. Um, I do have some more downloads for you guys, though. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's see. Um. Okay, somebody trying to, and that's funny because instruction is on the top. Somebody trying to limit uh, your information about something, but they don't, but they know they have to tell you eventually about something. I got a bunch of downloads the other day. So let's see what that's about. Let's see what this about. whispering so this could be something that's going like damn near like a surprise party something that's going on behind your back that you don't know nothing about maybe something that you fought for something that um you were fighting for behind the scenes whispering with athena in disguise or maybe somebody was fighting for you behind the scenes like fighting for you to get what it is that you wanted behind the scenes thought they was going against you but actually they're they were you know rooting for you can we um two more one more is good enough pollinators so this is somebody who's meant to give the message maybe this is somebody who was sent with a message but like they're waiting until now to actually deliver the message because like i said this is information that was being kept from you but like it had to get to you eventually. Like, the end goal was always for this information to get to you. What else? Let's get one more. Then I gotta get some oracles. Origa! Is it? All of the words came off. It's in Ryan's Digital Oracle Archives in the Valentine Oracle. I wish I could, like, pause this or, like, just look it up, but I can't. Auriga. This is a message that I had to get. It's, it's like, it's, if, it's, if it's like a game of telephone, like, everybody has to hear the message, even if it's not accurate. Eventually, whatever... It was gets all the way to a person eventually. <clears throat> Let's see. Give me some oracle. Tell me about this. What's the whispering about? The whispering warrior. Maybe you're a silent warrior. I. Maybe you were sent to observe something, or someone was sent to observe you. Bravery with humanity. This could be somebody like trying to see like how you like your character or this could be somebody in disguise. It gives master of disguise and like they were in the most random places doing the most random shit with the most random disguises. It also makes me think of the VFW. I mean not the VFW, the VFD. No. Yeah, the VFD. That's what it was in a series of unfortunate events. So this could be like a group secretly watching you. A person secretly watching you. The future. To see like if you want, if you should be or if 
you even want to be a part of something in the future. Let me get two more. Caught that with my hands. Wildfire. Sorry, wild flower. <clears throat> this almost makes me think of like with pollinator, seeing how you react to some type of information or something like that. Or even the lack of information. Probably more. Just one one. Still thawing out, y'all. The dark. Yeah, this is like this is like borderline on it in an experiment to see how something was gonna go. And I don't I don't know. Perhaps you're not reacting to the information at all. You're growing from the like instead of reacting per se, you're growing from the information. Tell me about um this. Six of Wands. Yeah, instead of reacting, you're growing from something. Something could have been sent to you to make you react. Like, somebody could have been sent towards you with some information to make you react in a very specific type of way. Or just to see how you react. Not only are you not reacting to the information, it's clear that you got the information, but you're growing from the information instead of reacting. <clears throat> What's the whispering? That's... This information might... It's like you might be given this information as if you didn't already have it. <clears throat> or like this is some new information that's being whispered to you based on the fact that you didn't... There was something sent towards you, some information or a person with information sent towards you to get you to react to something. You're not reacting, you're, you're growing from it. So you're about to get a whisper about something else. But something that lets you know, like, you did the right thing. It could be a whisper from the universe. <clears throat> and whatever this was, was disguised for the universe to see, are you ready? Are you, are you prepared to, like, operate with this type of information? It could be some dark information. Can you handle it? Because I'm hearing that in my head. Can you handle it if I go there, baby, with you? Can I go there? Ah, uh, tear it up. Ten of pentacles. I meant ten of cups. Let's get some from the, um, tell me about the pollinators. Can you handle? Like, this is like, okay, this reminds me of like, right, I've been going to this river for months now. Well, for years now. And the other day, me and my whole family went there. And like, my aunt is a medium too, but like, I hear she sees. I see in my dreams, but she see in the 3D, right? But I hear in the 3D. She don't hear. She see. Um, she see and feel. I hear and feel, right? And she was like, you don't see them people? Like, at the river, like, she like, yo, you don't see them people? And I'm like, nah, I hear them, but I don't see them. And it's like, it make me think, like, I've been going over there for mad long, like, but I've been, the energy that I was feeling and what I was getting, like, the downloads that I would get when I was over there, the messages I would receive while I were over there were always of growth. And it was like I wasn't supposed to be able to see or, you know, I didn't need to see because it's like, can I handle this energy? Despite the fact of like me not even knowing how potent the energy is over here. Like I know, but I can't see. And I was thinking like, damn, this could totally could be preparing me. Like this could have been preparing me to use my gifts out in the world. Because this is the first time I've ever, like, really interacted with a whole bunch of spirits all at once. <clears throat> and was able to get productive, like, you know, make it a productive experience. Make it a growth experience rather than one that scared me or, you know, whatever the case is. The Forgotten. 
Like, this is something, whatever this information is, and it's like, now that I know that that's the case, like, now that I can, I have an idea of what it was I was feeling and hearing, it's not going to stop me from going over there. No, it, it actually makes me, it, it makes, it, it, it brings me peace to know that I found peace, even in all of that energetic chaos, right? And in some ways, I probably brought peace to that area, like, People are terrified of that river. I'm not. And this, I, and this morning, well, not this morning, not too long ago, we went after my little brother game because he was like, "Can we go to the? Can we go to the island?" He asked my mom on our way home, and she's like, "Yeah, we go for a little bit." And he wanted to like put his feet in the water, and I tell, I be telling him about like what I be doing at the river, and it's like some information that you get is is gonna scare you or is gonna intrigue you like it's gonna make you curious it's gonna make you want to grow it's gonna make you want to face your fears some information makes you more fearful right it makes you run away whatever this is even though it was something that wasn't necessarily full of light you didn't allow it to make you miss an opportunity to be present for something greater to happen because the process itself it's a ten of cups. It's meant to pollinate you. It's meant to help you receive. It's meant to help you grow. Basically, you let it you let it do what it was supposed to do. And maybe you didn't let other people's whispering about the disguised energy get the best of you. Can you handle? This could be about a person, like somebody that most people are afraid of. And it's like, well, I'm not afraid of that person. The hunter. Somebody could be a little intrigued about the fact that you're not afraid of them. Or you're not afraid of a thing or a place. Or... It get the beach. She just let me know why they show no fear. It ain't safe around here, but she's still down to hold on. It ain't safe around here, but she doesn't run from right here. Um, lust, guns, drugs, violence. Won't let you go. Your mama warned you about 562. To tell you the truth, she ain't lying to you. Baby, you said you ain't scared. Oh, girl, I love how you care. I put your love on a pedestal. Whatever you want, I'ma get it for you. Hop in the whip. We can go skirt. Show you the city that made me like this. This energy grew you. This is, this is whatever this energy or whatever this person is. This is somebody or whatever the fuck this is. This is something that most people are fearful of. That's why people are whispering about it. But you can see through it. Even if you can't see it, you can see through it by way of whatever other ways you're interacting with it. You know, like people are whispering, but you know what they don't know, what's being disguised. Tell me about the pollinators. And this could be other messengers, other psychopomps. Or the fact of, of the idea of being a psychopomp, the idea of a psychopomp, like what that really means. Nine of Swords, yeah. This was meant to, this, whatever this is, was meant to make messengers not want to give their message anymore. Whatever this is, was meant to make you as a messenger not want to give the message anymore, not want to relay the message, not want to, I don't know, be present. something about this somebody who knew to also knew this information or whispered this information to you wanted you to be afraid like almost wanted you to feel hunted by this energy but when something's hunting you that gives you a lot of space and opportunity and a very rare position to be able to observe it because things that are being hunted don't normally think about oh I'm being hunted. Let me be strategic. 
they're just panicking you didn't whatever you did not panic bro nine of swords you did not panic Knight of Swords. <laughs> this is strategic planning. It's still being able... It's still... Like, a message still being delivered. <laughs> Maybe you thought somebody forgot about something. Maybe somebody thought you forgot about something. And it's like, no, I didn't forget. I'm fully aware. Just not the time yet. To reveal this information I raised this with the hermit time it's about to be time though oh, the the whatever was being disguised could not be revealed until the choice was made right until you get a victory like you can't receive a reward until Somebody gets a victory. You're about to receive something. You might not have won, but you damn sure didn't get hunted either. Predestination, sure-footedness. And maybe you being hunted helped you learn. From multiple perspectives, because you got to think from the perspective of the prey, what's being hunted, and the perspective of the predator, what's what's hunting. You have a full awareness of this. This is like getting lost in a wood, like a forest, and eventually that's the place where you go to hide, because like most things, some things will try to trap you in the forest, but that's only something that comes from the forest. If something isn't from the forest and you run towards the forest, now you have the upper hand, even if they're hunting you. You can maneuver around the in around the forest in a way that they don't understand. Something that that meet that was intended to scare you helped you learn way more than you probably anticipated on learning. King of Pentacles. You're, you're about to receive. You're about to receive. Because somebody who knows this, it could, this could be whoever you were being, or whatever you were being hunted by, is now aware. They can't hunt you. It's becoming too difficult to hunt you. Which means you've passed the test. I don't know how else to describe that. You are now being identified as the hunter by a hunter. Like, as a hunter by a hunter that was once hunting you now sees you as a hunter clarify that the hermit yeah you know how to use the darkness to to your 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 justice you learn how to use the darkness to your advantage, strength. You learn how to use whatever this is as a as a strength. And yet again, in the middle of a reading, I'm feeling the need to like paint. LOL. Let's see. We're gonna put some more. We're gonna start putting some dots on here. Maybe that's what this is. With with the Hermit Virgo, it was all about details. Maybe this was the details, like, you got context, you don't have no details. But you don't, you didn't let that get the best of you. You let the context, you know. You learn how to read context clues. Instead of being frustrated about not having the details. Even if you felt like everybody else had the details and they were being kept away from you. So what? You prevailed without the details, which means they aren't really as necessary as they would seem. You got a victory. Justice, Six of Wands, without these details. Thank you. Oh, well. I'm going to put a few more colors on here, too. But I want to do it like I did this one, where it's like spread out. 
it kind of like like a burst and leads into a different color. So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe like you're in the position to where like now you're low key evolving. And the context of whatever this is, maybe perhaps has evolved as well. Right. Say this is like, you don't know your boss wants to give you a, like you get an offer for a job, but you don't know that you're actually, like the person who wants to offer you the job actually wants to offer you like something more, right? But all you know is that they want to offer you something. So it's like, all right, cool. But you feel like there's more that you're not being told, but it's like, you could let that get the best of you or you could let it just be like, fuck it. It is what it is. Like, if I'm not being told something, it's probably for a reason. And then you find out, like, maybe people are telling you, like, yeah, I know they offered you that job, but you're not really getting it type shit. Like, they ain't really, mm -hmm. you ain't really gonna get that shit. Like, they playing with you type shit. And you just be like, fuck it. Well, it was, it was nice. It was, it was nice to, like know that I'm I can even be seen in that way. I can be identified. I can be recognized in that way, right? And then you like you ready to go off about your business because you helped it, you allowed it to help you grow, see yourself in a in a in a uh evolved way, right? And then you get you still get offered the thing, but then it's like you get off you find out the rest of the information that was really being whispered. Something was being whispered to you, but it wasn't the same information that was it, Okay, telephone is significant here. Somebody was selling you information, but they wasn't giving you all of the information. All of the information is about to come to you, though. And that's going to change the information. Like, that's going to change how you view the information that you already had. Especially if you grew from it. Now, that information and the person who gave you the false information that actually helped you grow now becomes a stepping stool um, to the podium that the new information is putting you on. And somebody was watching the whole time. Whether it was a person who whispered this information to you or somebody who knows that this person likes to, like, get in people's ear. Like, Willy Wonka and Slug, Slug, Slughorn, Slugworth, whatever. He was, like, offering them hella money in order to bring back Willy Wonka's everlasting gobstopper. Willy knew what was going on. Them kids didn't know, though. The only one who found out was Charlie. Because Charlie was the one, none of them other kids offered to give back the Everlasting Gobstopper. Charlie was the only one who offered to give it back. It was valuable information that could be sold. You did not, it's like you didn't, you didn't let this information turn you into something or someone that you're not. You allowed it to, um, I don't want to say push you, but like, grow you into something more than what you've ever been before. And I, don't, I really don't think you're expecting this per se. I want to get like one more card. Here, the wool. <laughs> I'm not taking none of them. I'm not taking none of them. Pond. Endurance. You lasted the whole. You la You didn't. You didn't. You lasted the whole way through. You did not give up. That was really. That was the point of the information to see if it was gonna make you give up, or if you was gone. Keep going. Even if it. Even if things didn't look like it was working out in your favor, were you gonna keep going? To keep trying, at least. I don't know, maybe some of y'all was ready to give up on something. Maybe some of y'all was like, fuck it. But like, even if it looked like it's not going in your favor, I, again, you stay down to the end. This is the end. You're getting a victory. You, you're getting your own victory, like a personal, you, 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 you cleared a new like personal record. But you're also about to get recognized for something that, like, you might not have realized other people were watching. Like, you made it to some type of, basically, you 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 placed on some type of leaderboard. It's like, it reminds me of cheerleading competitions. Like, 
you might your team might not place right but you might get identified at the like say they have um they give away a war for like the best jumps your team might not place but what if you get like a a a, a war for like best jumps at the competi the whole competition you one person out of a team that's competing against other teams. You out of all of those people get recognized for like the best jumps, right? Or best facials. Best, you know, whatever. Best dance sequence. Because they do shit like that. Like sometimes if the team don't win, but a player still can. You're the player. Your team might not have won, but a player on your team. Like you're a player who definitely still did. Absolutely. The Muse. Three of Cups. It's definitely about to be something to celebrate. Because whereas the those around you might not be being recognized or identified, you are being recognized and identified and rewarded for your efforts, for your growth, for your resilience, for your endurance. And that's that on that. And so it is because it is so family, Ashay.